guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jess, I do a lot of styling videos, travel, fashion, hauls, vlogs, the whole shebang, basically you name it, and I probably do it on this channel, I just really like making videos basically. So today's video, as you can see from the title, is going to be eight ways to wear the Doc Martin Jaden boots. Now I specifically style the Jaden boots just because they're the ones I've got. They're these really chunky sole, just classic shaped docks. I personally live in these, I've worn them so much. I've had them for about a year now-ish and I honestly just live in them but this kind of would work for any classic style dock because they all look pretty similar and they're all kind of a similar vibe. So I've tried to incorporate eight different types of outfit in this video. So I've gone for your dresses, I've gone for slightly smart casual, for more effortless, for a bit more like grungy, edgy vibe. Basically, I've just tried to cover every base and give you a wide range of outfits rather than ones that all look similar. So hopefully you enjoy this video. All of the links to everything will be down in the description box, including a few places that you can pick up these. And I'll also do some similar boots as well if you want to check out like slightly different price points or anything because I know these are a little bit expensive but I'll leave some similar alternatives down below but without further ado let's get on with the video outfit number one is this very classic very simple kind of look so I've just gone for something really easy something with no fuss very like thrown on as they would say so I've got the docks on obviously they're the Jadens I live in these to be completely honest jeans are from Zara so I just went for a like classic blue denim because I thought it just went quite well with the overall vibe of the outfit that I wanted sweatshirt is Anine Bing but again I just wanted something that was quite simple oversized thrown on and just kind of adding to the dark tones because of the blue denim but also just like giving it a little bit of lightening as well and then coat so Honestly, the most easy outfit ever. Very thrown on, very simple, but trying to get away from the all black tones that are quite easy to put with the docks because they're quite a heavy colour and heavy chunky shoe. But I quite like this. This is probably my favourite one from the whole video, actually. It's just very simple, very easy, and very quick to throw on if I'm in a rush, but still kind of look put together. I just think it looks like a very, like, effortless, effortless cool girl vibe, <laughs> if I do say so myself. But I really like it. Outfit number two is very much a different vibe. So I've gone for this little slit skirt, which I got from Zara last year. Tights and the docks, obviously, with a little roll neck. And then I've tried to brighten up the outfit a bit by just chucking on this coat from Naked, which is like a really nice, soft, brushed oatmeal tone. And then I've got my little bag from Coach. This is the Coach Tabby. I actually got this in an outlet, and it's a beautiful style. It's got like little monogram detailing, you can probably see. But this one's a little bit nicer, so if I was going out for dinner or something, I'd probably put this on or going for like a nice coffee date or something where I just needed to be a tiny bit more dressed up and like looking a little bit more formal so this is what I like to call my version of smart casual because it is to me smart casual like I look smart but I also feel very casual and not too dressy but definitely think adding all black with the boots and like a little printed tight obviously you could change these depending on the season and the style that you want but I definitely think that the all black with the cream outerwear and accessories works really nicely because it just brings the outfit a little bit brighter but still keeps it that kind of dark dark look and I just really love it I think it's one of my favorite outfits I tend to wear this base all the time with like different shoes and coats and bags because it's just a really easy chuck on style that I tend to gravitate to but yeah this is this is the next outfit. Outfit number three is again very dark. This is the only all black outfit I've actually put in the whole video because I wanted to show you different ways to wear it without going just completely all black all the time. But this is one of my favourites. So I've got my long naked coat on. Personally, I love chucking on long black tailored coats. I think they look gorgeous. I think they're a great way to just add so much to an outfit just by being simply a long black coat. I've got a speckled little jumper under here just for a little bit of texture. Sorry about how dirty my mirror is. <laughs> but I've got the little speckled jumper here from me and M. And this just adds a nice little bit of something else to the outfit. And then I've got some tailored trousers on here, again from Naked, and my little JWP bag. And I just think it kind of works as a whole outfit because it gives that kind of laid back chic style so you could definitely wear this to the office because you have got the tailored trousers on you've got a nice classic easy to style jumper and obviously the boots are yes not necessarily office appropriate but I feel like if you wear them 
with the whole look it works quite well depending on obviously where you work I know some offices absolutely wouldn't approve but I feel like some would and you'd be able to get away with it quite easily but this is a very kind of me outfit just again thrown on that's kind of my style the effortless chic vibe so very thrown on very not necessarily thought out so yeah this is the kind of smart casual vibes again okay outfit number four is definitely the off-duty vibe so I've just gone for a really neutral lounge set underneath like a little gym set with the neutral hat and then I've gone for this giant oversized aviator jacket my little jacquemus bag and the boots the set is actually from pretty little things so is this and I just really like it it's like a laid-back vibe I feel like you could actually wear this with trainers or like any kind of shoe to be honest um well I mean trainers or boots not like a loafer or something but it just works really well as an outfit and I think it gives that kind of easy everyday style if you're going to the shops or something I also think this would be good for like a little kind of coffee date or morning breakfast outfit depending where you're going um but I really like this I think it's very simple and laid back and just a really good way to show off the boots in a different light because this is very different to the other outfits I've shown I don't know if you've noticed actually I've tried to show many different styles I mean they're all my style I wear all these outfits quite a lot but they're all different styles that you could wear the docks with so that I'm not just showing you like one variation I wanted to show you like a broad range so that if you did want to invest in them you get a good gist of like what you could wear with what outfit number five is a layering masterpiece if I do say so myself it's very very simple but very very easy to wear so it's very simple but something I hadn't really styled until recently when I was browsing Pinterest and thought such a good idea so I've just got my Burberry trench coat on here which is like a nice classic fit very very easy to wear very easy to style I just kind of like this because it's very simple and then underneath I've just popped on a white blazer so it's like a little bit of a tone and then I've just gone for all black so just a black t-shirt and the little tailored trousers I showed you before um, along with a little Gucci monogram bag here which just kind of complements the colours but I think this is such a classic outfit and it just looks kind of chic and stylish without actually being too much faff like it's a very simple outfit to put together and I don't know why I'd never thought of it before I looked on Pinterest the other week but I just love this I think it's such a cute outfit I think it's a very different take on wearing trousers and a trench and obviously just the little bag to finish it off and she's bringing out the grungy vibes so this is definitely one that I've been wearing on repeat lately I've just got this All Saints striped jumper because I think striped jumpers are a really good way to keep the monochromatic outfit but just add a little bit of interest um, and this one's just really nice as well because it's got like I don't know if you can see but it's kind of like a mottled stripe it's not completely crisp which I love Ganny beanie of course black beanies are life they are the easiest thing to style in the world then I've just got on my little misguided coat here which is just like an oversized blazer style bag is the JWP I just showed you and then I've actually just gone for leather leggings on my legs because I thought these were a really classic way to show you a different variation of styling the boot because it's really easy to always style them without the oversized look but I think they also look really nice just with the leather legging and they just kind of elongate the leg a little bit. I just think the boots look really chunky as well with like a skinnier leg trouser when this is obviously skin tight versus like the wider leg, straight leg vibes. And I just love it. This is a very kind of me classic outfit for every day and one that I typically do wear quite often, um, especially like the whole outfit together and in separates. I've had the coat for about a year now. I've had these for like two, three years. Boots I've had for quite a while and this is quite new in, but just absolutely love it. And I think it's a really good outfit. Okay. Last but not least, we have outfit number seven. This one is just wearing my new puffer coat from River Island, which I'm obsessed with at the moment. It's just like a little gilet number. Looks really cute with a neutral jumper or something underneath. And then I've got the side slit Zara leggings because why not? They are just an absolute classic for styling docks. I think the docks just look really cute underneath them. And then I've just gone for a classic little monogram bag again. I've tried to make it a very simple outfit that could still be dressed down, but also could be dressed up. So like I would wear this to the shops, but equally if I take off the puffer jacket, I could wear it in a restaurant for lunch or something. And it just fits really nicely, works really nicely as an outfit. And I think it just brings attention to the docks as well with the little slit but I personally just really like this style. I wear this quite a lot, actually. Obviously not the gilet till recently, but I wear this actual outfit underneath quite a lot. It's actually what I wore to Disneyland. Let me try and show you. It's actually what I wore to Disneyland um, a few months ago because it just fits really nicely and it looks really cute. And then last but not least, outfit number eight is this one. It's a, not a favorite of mine. I've not really worn this that much, but I've recently fallen back in love with this dress that I got last year from ASOS. And I'm starting to really appreciate the jumper dress style, especially when it's styled really simply like this. So literally just chucking on my docks to kind of break up the leg because this midi skirt length or the midi dress length is quite awkward because um, I'm quite short. So these just break it up nicely. I've put a little black crossbody on and I think it just 
works as an outfit and then I'd probably just chuck on a long coat over the top if I was to go anywhere that needed a coat but it's very very cute and just easy to wear it also just brings the docks into a different kind of realm as well with the jumper dresses and I think jumper dresses are really easy to dress down with docks especially to be honest that's what I would wear them with most I'd always like favor the docks because they just add a little bit of a chunk to your like lower half rather than narrowing really slightly at the ankle and I think it just works really nicely and I'm kind of loving this dress if I'm honest I might keep it on for the rest of the day because I do really like it it's just very very cozy I'll see if I can find it and link it but if not I'll link similar because it is from last year that's it for today's video guys. I really hope you enjoyed seeing a few ways that I've been styling the Doc Martin Jaden boots or to be honest just any chunky boot of your choice. I think these outfits are quite versatile with any kind of boot but I just obviously wanted to share with you the Doc Martin Jaden ones because I've been requested highly and I don't really know how I never did one before but here you go, now you've got one. What I'll do is leave my review down below as well because I did review the Jadens and the Griffin Quad Sandals which is the two types of Doc Martin that I have. Um, and I'll also leave below my link to my styling playlist where I've got a wide range of things I've been styling. It's mainly spring and summer outfits because that's just when I did the bulk of them. But I am going to be doing a lot more winter and kind of the whole rest of the seasons and everything coming and moving forward. So if there's anything you want to see me style, let me know down below. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, hit the notification bell for more from me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.